So I'm just at home today and I wanted to get a little pole jam built. I don't have access to working with metal like welding and cutting and stuff. So I thought it'd be cool to figure out how to make a wooden pole jam. And there's a bunch of scrap material at the house we have here. I'm going to go check it out right now. See if we can conjure up any kind of ideas to make this wooden pole jam come to life. So I've kind of got a rough idea of how to build this thing. I mean, these are metal ones. I'm trying to make it wooden. So first option is to build it like this to have the main piece of wood, maybe some angle on the sides of it so you can grind it and then some supports and then another block of wood to some rubber underneath so it doesn't move around or to kind of make it like an A-frame and then put another wooden support beam through the middle there but basically like this. Here are the really terrible kind of mock-up sketches of what I'm trying to achieve here today. Here's some more. Yeah, they're pretty nasty but it just gives me a rough idea of how to put this thing together. So I'm gonna go check out the wood and see what we have to play with today. I might have to go buy a hacksaw to cut up the angle, but um, yeah, should be an interesting video. So this is the wood and stuff I've got here to play around with, a fair bit of wood. Um, I thought I could have used this angle or this metal here to make the angle, but it'd have to be cut down the center there, so I'm not too sure how to achieve that. But yeah, this is what we're working with today. All this stuff here. Got an assortment of bits of wood here um, I'm going to show you guys a really really cruel crude rough mock-up of how this is going to come about so basically hang on give me a second I might have to put the camera down so basically this is how it's going to work we're going to have the base here the footing there's going to be a support beam there this is going to be the main pole jam thing so this is what you're going to pole jam up and then there'll be another support right here it's just I don't have another piece of wood the same size as this I'll have to cut some up but yeah, that's a rough idea. I've just got to do some beveling. So I'm going to have to figure out how to bevel this edge so it sits flush up against the main bit. And then um, making it beveled to sit onto the foundation piece should be pretty easy too. But yeah, that's roughly how it's going to come about. I think it'll work pretty well. I might have to do some dumpster diving at Home Depot to find if they have any loose bits of angle iron or bits of iron that I can use. I was going to use that metal piece off the bed frame but I don't think it's iron I think it's aluminium and aluminium doesn't grind so yeah I'm gonna have to go to Harbour Freight get an angle grinder and then do some dumpster diving at Home Depot this is a spot right here guys for tools I think Harbour Freight have their own like line of like basic tools this was a $20 angle grinder it's got a cord though it's not battery operated but I mean come on for 20 bucks if you're just doing like small stuff around the house these are like perfect so come on Bunnings, step your game up. $20 angle grinder, beat that. Well, we've got a lot of wood, but no metal it seems. Trying to keep this build as cheap as possible. So I had to buy the angle iron. It was like 13 bucks for this five foot length. I don't need five feet. It was just cheaper to buy one whole five foot length than it was to buy two four foot lengths or three foot lengths or whatever. So I've got to get this cut down for this. So it all matches up. So the plan is to pretty much get this cut and shut so it's... Oh, come on. What's going on? Yeah, so the plan is to get it cut and shut and screwed down to the piece of wood here so that you can your trucks can run across it and kind of pole jam up it because if it was just wood it probably you'd probably get stuck just a little disclaimer here guys always remember to use the correct protective equipment if you're using any types of power tools or anything like that a pair of glasses a pair of earmuffs goes a long way
I'm totally just freestyling this. There's no straight edges or triangles or whatever I'm working with now. I'm just trying to eyeball it. All right, change of plans again. We're just going to do one support this way and then have the base. And I bought some rubber stuff to put under the base and the other bit so it doesn't move around. I think that should do quite well because it's quite sturdy already. You're skating it for like two seconds. You're like pole jamming up it and that's pretty much it. So if you hit it at the right angle, it should be able to stay place, I think. But this is where we're at so far. I've just got to figure out how to bevel this piece here to get it flush with the base and then that part there. So as you guys can see, you can set an angle on the uh, circular saw here. And I've just kind of lined it up so the blade, so that the guide, sorry, is sitting flush against the wood and the blade is um yeah just on top of that black line that i drew earlier so that's how i'll be able to cut it precisely i've got these little l brackets here basically i'm going to chuck them in on this side underneath screw them in and then on this side too on the top so there's a decent amount of support going on right here and then i'll be able to drill through some screws into the base plate here but so far so good looking pretty uh you know pretty sketchy pretty diy I wonder how this thing will ride. Kind of made a bit of an oopsie here guys. The screws I used are too long and they're sticking through the other side so I'm just gonna angle grind them down. How sketchy is that? So I'm not too sure if it's a common thing to get frustrated and to kind of just rush through what you're building to kind of just get it done, get it bolted in and get it finished. But damn, this thing tested me like, it's a shame this video is gonna be, this part of the video is gonna be edited so bad because I'm gonna to try to make it look like it was smooth but it was the opposite of smooth. I had to recut and redrill things like three or four different times. Finally got it sitting now. I've just got to add on the rubber padding underneath. Finally got it to where it's like decent enough to be able to skate. Check it out. This part's pretty much flush with the ground. The base plate's pretty flush. This is all screwed in. Pretty gnarly woodwork here. These are all screwed in as well. The screws I used were too long, so I had to angle grind them down. What else could have gone wrong with this project? So pretty much this rubber matting comes in like squares. So I'll have to cut it to size to fit there and I'll have to cut a little bit off to fit onto here as well. So I'm gonna get that done. So it moves a tiny bit, but I'm sure if you put it on like a rough bit of concrete, like in a car park or something, it should sit pretty well, or you can just adapt to it moving around, I don't know. So not that I want to do any more building today, because I'm pretty burnt out right now. Um, I think this pole jam needs an extra bit of support. Just like a single parent at Centrelink, I need some support right here, guys. So I'm going to have to bevel this edge here, then drill this in here. Ah. <sighs> Alright, I think that's a lot better. I don't know why I didn't think to put that in to begin with, but I stood on it and it bent a little, so if I stand on it now, if I stand on it now, good as gold. Look at that, I'm about 67 kilos and this thing is holding up, so I think we're good. Here we go, we've got it chocked up against the little manual pad slash ledge here. Whoa! I knew this was the right man to see about a pole jam. You're gonna go into it, oh my God. Woo. 
How do you feel it shoots you out? It doesn't shoot you out too bad, huh? Uh, it's pretty fun. Let's see if you can do it off the drop. Oh, switch? I've never done a switch pole, Jim. Too glad to get to my head. Yeah. No, Dale, go away. Dale, get a go. hit. Oh, switch. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. That's so intimidating to go back in. Go back in. Like, go down it. Wow, Nolly wall pole jam nose manual. Sheesh. Oh. Oh. What if I did it like this? Oh, my God. That would be sick. Who did one of those? What? One foot it? No. It's like a two foot. Yeah. Like this. Who did this? Oh, Louis, oh, Bar Louis Barletta? Who was it? Oh. That almost worked. I feel like all you gotta do for that is. I need more wax. <laughs> you can't put your foot down. Is that a no comply pole jam? No, the worst. That's cool, no? No, no comply would be. No comply yeah. pole jam. Yeah. Uh, what, what's, what's the trick? No comply pole jam. Can, <laughs> can you back 180 or front 180 off it? I'll try front 180, it's a thick boy. Oh, you got it all day. Damn, we got we got food on deck out here at Redlands. Wow. No. No. Come down, baby. Switch? What a switch guy. What happened? I don't know. Oh. You think you could go up? Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. <laughs> that's scary. Yeah, it's like a get in, get out type situation in this pole jam. Oh. Oh, that be. Where else can we put it? Uh, do you think it'd work like into a bank? Put it down the stair. Yeah, into the bank or off the stair, like oh, the gap there. Ah, uh, I get you. Let's go up the euro. Up the euro will probably be pretty cool. Oh my god! Look, like dude, no way. <laughs> do I have to go like this? <laughs> I don't know. That's a big hop. Dale, you got this? What? You have this? Alright. Oh! Yeah? Sheesh! Yeah, the park kind of goes on a slant like this, so it's going to be a bit... Offset. Dale, do it. I don't want to do it. Oh my no, god, look at it. Dude, Dale. Come you on. had it. Dale. Come on. That, that sucked. <laughs> that last time. You almost did it. I know, but I'm kind of good on that. Oh, oh yeah. That's it. Hard, dude. You got it. Do you have, are you hopping out of it or is it just like a... I'm kind of ollieing a little bit. Okay. Like, you gotta like... Push yourself you up push. it. Ooh, sheesh. Hit 
think it's easier out of the bank because you're already oh, kind of going at it at an angle? Yeah, it's definitely easier. Whoa! Holy hell! No, do it right here. Yeah, do it right here. In the way. Yeah. Wherever you want. You ready? So we're going to do a practice. He wants to do it over the gap, but I have to hold it because it moves a little bit on the smooth ground. So I'm going to bring it to a practice holding. <laughs> oh, this is scary. Don't fail. Can you do that? I don't know. We're going to find out. All right. What do you mean you don't know? You told you had this thing before, right? Yeah, I've done it heaps. <laughs> Not with a human. Either. Okay. <laughs> it's no different. Don't fail. All right. Oh, that was so scary. You got it? Yeah, it'll work. You ready? We'll just get right into it. He likes to shake things up a bit. How will we do it? I guess, what do you mean? You will go and he will stay. Yeah, you're gonna go and then you'll be like, Wee! and I'm gonna be like, ah! You got it. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. I'll hold this thing any way you want. Is this, is this better for you? Oh, uh, hang on. Nice. Do you want me to do that? Do you want me to do it? Or do you see you want to do it? He wants to do it. He okay. He wants to get a phone down. video, you greedy sack. Maybe All right, dude. All right, go. I'll hit you. Know? you. Yeah. If I hit you, I'll bite one. Worth it. <laughs> you got this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was so scary. That was easy. I'm better than him for that trick. Mine was more work. Yeah, first try. I'm so glad that was first take. Dude, me too. Oh yeah. Good Thank shit. You. Had a ton of fun building that pole jam, kind of. It was fun, but it was frustrating, but now it's done. I'm glad it's built. I can just not worry about it and I can skate it. I didn't find any other wooden pole jam videos on YouTube, so I figured I'd make one myself, literally and figuratively. Made the video and the pole jam. Had a super fun time. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm super happy you guys are digging the longer videos because it's more fun making more content for y'all to watch. But yeah, cheers for watching the video and I'll hopefully see all you guys in the next one. Oh, oh, that was so scary. That was easy. I'm better than him for that trick. Mine was more work. <laughs>